Hey, Perry Lau here from FerrisStreamMaster.com and today I'm going to talk about writing your own obituary. One of the most powerful things that I do to keep me on track is to review my obituary. How do I want to be remembered? And I make sure I write it down and live my life according to that. And that's my way of living an authentic life. Living a life that's aligned with my values. And that starts with having the end in mind. How do you want to be remembered? Are you living your life according to your values? What's most important to you? Or are you doing things that are necessary and deep down are not things that you want to do? I want you to imagine that you're at your own funeral. What would people say about you? What would you want people to say about you? Are they aligned with your actions in life? If you want to be remembered as a great father, are you taking the time to be present with your kids? Do you want to be remembered as a man who was courageous enough to go after his dreams, to live an unscripted life rather than following a script that's written by society? Start with the end in mind and live your life accordingly. Because when you live life with clarity, you know exactly what you have to do in life. You take the necessary steps to live out the life that you want. And that's how people will remember you for. But you don't do it for them, you do it for yourself. You do it for the people that you love. You could deceive everyone in the world, but you can't deceive yourself. Live an authentic life. One that you want to be remembered. One that you want to be proud of one that has no regrets. This is a short video but it's a powerful one and the big takeaway is to write your own obituary. I think that's a very powerful exercise but not an easy one. Once you have something that's written, start living more towards it. Now if you have any questions about writing your own obituary, please leave a comment below and I love hearing from you all. Till next time, bye.